Welcome to the next video on this series Photoshop CS5 for architecture students. Now in this video we're going to um, save off our presentation in preparation for printing and distribution. Now what we're going to do first is actually going to save it in its native Photoshop format. I'm going to call it perhaps by a more appropriate title presentation 1 dot PST, save, maximize co uh, compatibility, OK. There we go. And it's loaded it up in there. So when we save it as a Photoshop file, it retains all of the layer structure and so on. And it also maintains all of our, um, our selection uh, savings and so on. So if we want to actually save this um, as a smaller file that we can email or include in a PowerPoint presentation, we could probably save it as a JPEG. Now, if we go File, Save As, and we select the JPEG option, you notice that it comes up with the um, warning that the file must be saved as a copy with the selection. Now, I'm presuming that we've done everything we need to on this presentation for now and that I'm happy to sort of have it all um, compressed into the one layer. So I'm just going to save that as a JP, file save, due to maximum compression so I don't get any uh, loss of image quality. Go OK. Then I can open that file through Photoshop, presentation 1, JPEG, there it is. And you can see it's brought it all into the one layer. Now. Um, often we'll ask for material to be saved off as a .pdf format and also we recommend uh, printing to the large printers as a uh, .pdf format document. Now a common thing that um, we see people doing is that to generate the PDF they come up here, they go File, Save As, and they try and save it as a PDF. Sorry, I'm going to go back to my Photoshop file so I can see all of my layer structure. So we go File, Save As, and there is an option through here, Photoshop PDF. So if we select that option, you can see the file format's the same. It's a .pdf. So if we go File, Save, we'll just let OK through that. The preset is for a high quality print, which is, yeah, well, that's what we want. But you see, the standard options through here preserve the Photoshop editing capabilities. So it's actually going to embed a lot of that native Photoshop um, file format. So when we save the PDF, just go OK. When it's saved it, you can see here, it's loaded it back up into the window there. We've got all of our uh, file format um, formatting still preserved in that file even though it can be opened by Adobe Acrobat. Now for most people all intents and purposes it's the same file but when it comes to printing um, the way that it um, unpackages the information for printing is different if we um, to other more simple uh, PDF file formats. Now if we want to save it um, as a nice compact PDF, one that will print with just as good a quality but with a much um, faster throughput on the printers, what we want to do is we actually want to print to PDF. So instead of saving it as, so let's open up our presentation. Okay, there it is. So I'm going to print to PDF. So, File, Print, and here we go. We're going to pull down our printer, PDF Creator. We're going to check the print settings. Layout is landscape. Paper quality, just look in the advanced settings. A3, it's all OK. OK. Now, make sure that the scaling is kept at 100%. Don't hit this scale to fit media 
because otherwise we could lose the scaling of our drawings. So now that we've got that all set up, I'm going to hit print. So in the PDF creator, it's asking us um, for a name. So I'm going to call it presentation for printing. Okay, so I'm going to save that. Save that off. And voila. Here we see the PDF file that has been generated. Just going to close that off. Now I'm going to open up the Windows Explorer um, navigation window just to see the impact of on the file sizes of the various files that we have just saved off. Now you can see here the presentation one, the native um, Photoshop file format. It's um, the biggest of the lot, so it contains all of the layer information. It's fully editable, and um, but it is only openable by Photoshop itself. So it's handy for us as the sort of source file, but to print from it, it's rather large. And also, um, if we go out to a bureau or something, it may not they may not um, print out from Photoshop. So the second file format that we saved, the JPEG. You can see it's quite a compact file format. Um, it's a good size for emailing, fairly u universal file format, and a good size to include in our PowerPoint presentations. Now, the presentation one PDF that we saved from the Photoshop file, now that's quite a large file. It's almost as big as the Photoshop file itself. Now, although it's openable by Adobe Acrobat, um, it's retained so much of the information from the uh, Photoshop file that if we go to print that through the network printers, the way it unpacks the information um, for the print makes it run very slowly and sometimes can create problems with memory losses in the printer and we get lots of errors. So it's a good idea to make sure that you print to PDF rather than save as PDF when you're sending things to print. Because you can see here, our presentation for printing is quite a nice compact file size, only 855 KB as opposed to 9900. So this will go through the printer rather easily, less um, chance for errors, and the print quality, to be honest, between presentation one and presentation for printing will be negligible. You wouldn't be able to tell them apart. So just a tip when it comes to portfolio time and everyone's trying to print at the same time, if we keep our file formats nice and compact, then um, we won't get strife with a lot of people trying to send excessively large files. So let's go back to our presentation. Now that's the end of, of this video. Now, there'll be a few videos to follow through um, after this, um, so stick around and hopefully we'll see you for the next instalments.